Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Fegan, and today in our coaching tip, I wanted to really talk to you about the importance of what growth looks like inside of your career. You see, there is never a year on my watch that my business can go backwards because every year I want it to be bigger and bolder and I want to do more things and I want to serve more customers because fundamentally I love doing what I do. And you should have no difference in the way that you treat your career as well. You see, growth is not a hard thing, it's a really simple thing. And it's about understanding how to measure the numbers that count. Now measurement and numbers, they kind of sound a bit awkward and weird, but they don't have to be. And so one of the things that I focus on is that what is the one number that's really important to you? And that might be the number of properties that you list or the number of properties that you sell. Or for most agents, it's going to be the final number on the scoreboard, the amount of holidays that you have. Sorry, sorry, I mean the amount of income that you earn. So think about this, right? If it's about the amount of income that you earn, then you want to think about what growth looks like. Let's say, for example, that you're writing $300,000 in fees and you go out there and in the last year you've written 330,000 in fees. Now it's an extra 30,000, which sounds great, and that 30,000 divided by the 300, that actually means that it's 10%. So here's the thing, your business has been growing at 10%. Did you know that if you take the number 72 and you divide that by 10, the 10% 10 that you've got is your annual growth rate, that that equals 7.2, which now means that on average, your business is going to double every 7.2 years. So in my company, we've been growing at a staggering 23% for the last five or six years. And what that means is that if you take 72 and you divide it by 23, it means that our business on average doubles every three and a bit years, which talks to me about my product and service mix, the type of staff that I'm gonna to need to have on board and how I'm actually gonna go and serve the customer. And this is the big quality of conversation, is that as you get bigger, you need to think about how you improve your level of customer service. I can tell you, our mate Mark Zuckerberg over at Facebook isn't exactly doing all of the coding himself. I bet you he's got plenty of people that are involved in actually coding Facebook to make it a great customer experience. And you need to start thinking about doing exactly the same thing. Now, when I was back in retail, a long time ago, when I first started my career, what we'd always do is we'd measure day on day for the same day last year. And I've taken that methodology and I do exactly the same thing in my business. I measure month on month, this month this year versus last month last year. I'll have a look at this month this year versus last month this year. I go and have a look at this quarter versus the same first quarter last year. I might go and have a look at this half of the year versus that half of the year last year. I might have a look at this financial year versus the last financial year. And what I'm always doing is tracking to see what's happening with the numbers. And then I'm coming up with ways to get the numbers exactly where they need to be. It's that focus of when you turn your business into a great fun game that makes all the difference in you becoming the agent that you're capable of being. Because you start to scale your service and think about how you can be more valuable to your customer more often and charge the fees that you're actually worth. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's coaching tip and I look forward to seeing you next week.